They're called paper bombs. The leaflets anti-North Korean activists launch by balloon across the border. 100,000 leaflets denouncing Kim Jong-il, North Korea's leader, made the slow journey on Thursday. They've already sent millions. Many of the activists are defectors from the North, sending a message to those they left behind. Kim Jong-il. We're trying to let the people of North Korea know that North Korea is a dictatorship and that Kim Jong-il lives a fancy lifestyle while the people starve to death. The leaflets also mention reports that Kim Jong-il suffered a stroke back in August. That's not the sort of thing the North Korean government wants its people to hear. Pyongyang has demanded that South Korea stop the balloons and is threatening to sever what few ties it has with the South if it doesn't. That includes shutting down a joint industrial zone near the border where thousands of North Koreans work for South Korean companies. It's an arrangement that benefits both countries. South Korea's government says there's not much it can do. There's no law against it. But the politicians in Seoul are trying to find a way to put an end to the controversy. Related authorities, including our unification ministry, are aggressively working on it within legal boundaries, urging them not to send leaflets. The activists aren't listening. We have the right to free speech in our constitution. If the right doesn't exist in Seoul, why did I come here? I might as well live in Pyongyang. So more balloons are on the way. To the South Korean government, these activists are an unhelpful nuisance. To the North, they're a threat, because this propaganda is the most dangerous kind. It's the truth. These determined few hope that someday the truth will set North Koreans free. But for now, they're just causing trouble. David Hawkins, Al Jazeera, Kimpo, South Korea.